Cognos 10.2 tutorials by Bharti W Consultancy. Please follow the tutorials from Cognos 10, which talk about a lot of stuff which are common between Cognos 10.1 and 10.2. Please note that I am not going to repeat any videos which have already been created as a part of Cognos 10 training. Search on Google or YouTube 10 point, Cognos 10 train by Bharti W Consultancy and you would get all the videos listed. You can also visit my website bharticonsultancy.in and you would see a list of 30 videos which I have already created for Cognos 10. This video, which is built for Cognos 10.1, also covers a lot of stuff that are common between 10 and 10.2. In this video, I'm going to talk about cross tab reports and a way to create nested cross tabs. Let's create a cross tab report. A cross tab report is necessarily a, a layout which displays data in rows and columns format. I can go in here and drag drop country in the rows section and get year and drop it in column section then I'm gonna use a fact which is also known as a measure and drop it here this is simple cross tab report let's run it Now let's make it a bit more interesting by adding a nesting. A nesting means either in rows or columns or both, you have more than one column like this. Let me add a uh, Product category also here. So country, city, product category, and in the year section, I have just in the columns, I just have year. I run the report again. And you can see that you have data US dash bulk weighing and the yearly data let's let's add sales quantity as a part of this layout what i can do is i can add sales amount nested in the year in the column section and then quantity just right next to it. Please remember, you cannot have quantity here. You have to add the quantity on the right side of the amount because both quantity and amount are facts known as match, right? So you can add the, the quantity right underneath sales amount. Please go ahead and delete the sales amount because now this report is not just this amount in order to do that this is known as locking you have to unlock in order to go one level below to get that text deleted 
I just press delete button keyboard and lock it back. Let's run this report now. Now what I can see is on this area we do not have subtotals. Let's add subtotals at the year level and let's see how it looks. So in order to add, sorry, not the year but the country level. So this is going to give you overall total. And if you click the city, it's going to give a total at country level. Now let's run it. So you can see this is Pakistan total, this is country UK total, and this is US total. Let's add a subtotal on for year which will be here somewhere. In order to do that, click on years and click on the total and you would see the total on the right. Let's run the report. Let's so I do not have the headers in the cross tab for the columns. Let's do the headers using cross tab space. Let's add a header here. You can add one more so that it gives you and add one more which gives you another heading space. Next in this you can go to the text drag and drop it won't let you because yes it is locked so unlock it again pick the next item now you can drop in the cell a country Now let's record. So this is how you can play around with cross tab and uh, keep watching the videos for Cognos 10.2 tutorials by Bharti DW Consultancy. Happy learning.